What's up, Jason? What's up with the quality, man? What about it? What do you look like, man? Bro, why are you trying so hard, bro? Like, <laughs> look, at the, look at this guy, bro. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> trying too hard. Yeah, you're really trying to. Who are you trying to impress here? There's no girls here. <laughs> the best webcam I have today might not be what you're expecting. Hey everyone, welcome back, I'm Albert. It's almost the end of 2021, and with or without COVID, video calls and streaming are only getting more common. So you're probably looking at a way to up your game with a webcam, so you can outshine your coworkers or fellow gamers. I've recently changed my setup to use my MacBook in clamshell mode with two monitors. It's great for the most part, but I'm losing the built-in webcam with this setup. So I need a webcam, but I don't want to buy a new one. Instead, I wonder if I can make use of some of the resources I already have at home. And as a photographer, I have a few retired or less used DSLR sitting behind me all the time. So today, let me show you how to turn a camera, specifically a Canon DSLR, into a webcam with the best possible quality with 5 easy to follow steps. And forget about the Logitech Brio or some expensive webcam, I can guarantee you that you'll get better image quality with this setup. Step 1. Get your hands on a Canon camera. There are other ways that you can achieve a similar setup with cameras from other brands using a capture card or software, but Canon provides the most straightforward and free solution. I'm using a 5D Mark III as it's the best camera I have laying around, but an extensive list of cameras from the M50 T3i to the newer EOS R cameras are all supported, making the setup really affordable with the T3i for something like $200 used today. And to get the best image that stands out, you can get a fairly wide angle lens from 24 to 35 millimeters that also has a large aperture to create the beautiful shallow depth of field. Check out this video that I made on how to create a shallow depth of field. Step 2 is to download the EOS webcam utility that is linked below. Follow the instructions Canon provided to install the EOS webcam utility onto your computer. It might ask you to restart your computer during installation. Step 3 is to connect your camera to your computer. And depending on your camera, this could be a USB-C, micro USB, or mini USB. You just need to find a corresponding cable and plug your camera into your computer. Step 4 is to find a good audio source. Unfortunately, the EOS webcam utility doesn't support audio pass-through from the camera. And for me, I'm using a condenser mic, the Audio-Technica AT2020 that I've always been using with great audio quality. But for starters, built-in microphones on newer laptops provide a decent quality for day-to-day -day use as well. And step 5 is to change your video input to the EOS webcam utility in your streaming software or video call software. This is usually under settings. In Google Meet, this is under the three dots, then settings, then video. In Zoom, this is under video settings on the bottom left corner. And in OBS, you just need to add a video capture device and select the webcam utility from there. For the optional step six, you can also add a key light to your setup. More light usually makes your image cleaner with this setup or pretty much any other webcam out there. So this is my complete setup. As you can see, it's super straightforward. 5D Mark III on the side, right here. The microphone right here. And at the back, it's just the light. And there you have it. This is only the first iteration of my setup that I put together for my immediate needs. In the future, I'm planning on a V2 using a cheaper body, a cheaper lens to make this whole setup more affordable, to incorporate AC power using a dummy battery so I don't have to worry about battery again, and maybe perhaps to come up with a mounting solution that I can mount the camera above or under my monitor. Let me know if you'd like to know more about the version 2 setup. And thank you for watching this video. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.